Welcome back to the Class Winners Workshop. I'm Sam Bear, Car Guy in Chief here, and today we're gonna tackle something on this 1981 Corvette we just picked up. 81 is the last year of the carbureted cars. So in 82, they went to the Crossfire fuel injection. But this one, it's beautiful. It's the dark blue metallic. It's got a nice interior. It's been really well maintained over the years. But there's one thing that doesn't work that I've found, and that's the tack. Yep. You have the signature Corvette tack at 2000-ish. The power goes on, it drops to zero, but then it doesn't measure the engine's RPMs. Now, it is an automatic car, so a tack is, you know, kind of superfluous, but this is a sports car, so we should get it working. Also, it's probably something simple, because when you're talking about something like a tack, chances are it's wiring. Okay, I think we found the problem. You know, there's supposed to be this signal wire that sends electrical impulses to the, the electronic tachometer, uh, it's supposed to come off this brown wire and go to a filter that filters out interference and then connects to another wire that goes to the tack. But the filter's gone and I don't see a wire. And, you know, and looking around, the best thing to do when you're looking for a wire that doesn't exist is go to the wiring loom, you know, the harness that's close by and look for wires. Uh, this is a red one that's not what we're looking for if you look there's it should be like a white wire and, and i think we found it it's been cut i don't know why but this appears to be the right wire it's it's white and it's just been cut off at the harness someone didn't know what they were doing so i bet if we connect this wire to the negative side of the coil i bet you will get that pulse so the easiest way to check is just simply grab some jumper wire and jump from this negative side of the coil to this wire. So let's do that. Okay, so we now have the, this green jumper wire from the negative post of the coil to this clipped off little wire here. And let's see what happens. I'm guessing it's gonna work. Just like we had before, it's sitting around 2000. Let's turn on the key goes to zero. <laughs> hey, look at that. We're back in business. So really all I have to do now is just make a permanent connection between those two and that's a piece of cake. So really for any car, all you need to do is either have access to a wiring diagram or really just use Google. So from the workshop, I'm car guy in chief, Sam Bear, reminding you that life's too short for ordinary cars. And it's really too short to go around with non-operational parts of your car that you can get working really simply.